What if I told you those clips you just saw were generated on a platform that is completely free, totally unlimited, and almost entirely uncensored? You'd probably think I was talking about some private, highly exclusive model. But this tool has just recently exploded into the public spotlight, and today, I'm going to show you not only how to use it, but I'm going to put it through its paces with some serious stress tests to see just how powerful it really is. Spoiler alert, the results are genuinely mind-blowing, and this might just be the tool that makes you rethink paying for other AI platforms. The platform we're diving into is Meta AI, and yes, it's from the same people behind Facebook and Instagram. Now, Meta's AI chatbot isn't brand new, but what is new and what's making waves is the recent integration of a full-blown creative suite. We're talking image generation, powerful image editing, and most impressively, high-quality video generation all baked into one seamless interface. Honestly, with a tool this capable and this free, platforms like Leonardo AI should be getting a little nervous. So let's jump in. When you first land on the Meta AI page, which I've linked down in the description, you'll see a familiar chatbot interface. But look closer, and you'll find the new creative powerhouse. They've also added a social feed called Vibes, which is a brilliant move. It's like an integrated showcase where you can share your own creations, see what the community is making, and get inspired. This is where you immediately notice the platform's biggest selling point. It's uncensored. Right there in the feed, you'll see generations of celebrities, politicians, and other figures that most mainstream AI tools would block instantly. We're talking uncensored creativity, and for now, it's 100% free and, from my extensive testing, truly unlimited. Let's get to the fun part by hitting the Create button. The interface is super intuitive. You have your prompt box, and a little plus icon lets you upload your own images or videos for editing and restyling. You can easily switch between generating an image or a video, and you've got your standard aspect ratios, square, vertical for reels, and widescreen 16x9. There are also some aesthetic controls, but honestly, the default settings are incredibly good right out of the box. First, let's test the image quality. I'll start with a weird prompt, a beautiful young girl eating lava kibs in a 16x9 ratio. Now watch this. The speed is just staggering for a free tool. I'm still talking and boom, it's already done. We've got four unique images and just look at the quality. The lighting, the detail, the way it interpreted the bizarre concept, it's phenomenal. The consistency across the four options is also top notch. But it gets better. Below each image you have a restyle option. With a single click, I can transform this image into a 3D render. No complex prompts needed, just one button. And again, in seconds, we have four new high-quality 3D versions. Then there's the edit image feature. Let's take one of our Lava Cube girls and give it a simple instruction, add sunglasses. The AI goes to work and what it does is incredibly precise. The rest of the image remains identical, but now she's wearing sunglasses in four slightly different styles. This level of in-painting rivals and in some cases surpasses what I've seen from dedicated paid image editors. Now for the main event, animation. Each image has an animate button. Hitting this will generate a short video with some gentle ambient motion. But the real power is in custom animate, where you can prompt the animation. As of recording, the custom prompt feature seems a little buggy, which can happen with new tools. However, the standard animate button is more than enough to create magic. It intelligently uses the original image prompt to guide the animation. So, I'll just click animate on our lava cube image, and let's see the result. And there it is. Wow. The motion is fluid, the cubes are glowing, and she's actively eating them. The quality is crisp, and here's the kicker. When you download it, there is zero watermark. That's a huge deal when even paid tools often brand your creations. But hold on, we're not done. Once you have a video, the options expand. You can add music from a surprisingly large library, perfect for posting directly to social media. And then you see it, the extend button. This is the feature we've all been waiting for in AI video. With one click, it seamlessly adds another four or five seconds to your clip. I just extended our clip and it's now a nine second video. You can keep doing this, stringing together a 20 or 30 second scene without any complex editing. Next to that is video restyling. 
This is insane. There are hundreds of styles to choose from. Let's pick something wild like this skeleton style and apply it to our video. A few moments later, we have a 10 second clip of a skeleton eating lava cubes. It flawlessly transferred the motion and context while completely changing the subject's appearance. All right, let's really push the limits. I'm going to try a prompt that's a little more adventurous, something that would definitely get flagged on other platforms. I've queued it up for video generation. Okay, so one of the four attempts failed, which can happen with new tools, but the other three came through and they are, well, they're pretty fun and definitely prove the uncensored claim. The motion is dynamic and the results are exactly what I asked for. A better workflow I found is to generate a high quality image first and then animate it, since the image model is so strong. Let's try that with another boundary pushing prompt. The four images it produced are fantastic, so I'll pick the best one and hit animate. And here we go. A perfectly animated, dynamic, and fluid dancing video that looks incredible, generated in seconds from a single image. Let's move on to something more cinematic. My prompt is, underwater scene, a majestic sea turtle swims gracefully, surrounded by a school of shimmering fish, photorealistic. First, the images. The results are breathtaking. The detail, the lighting, the photorealism, it's just top tier. This one here looks like a real photograph. I'll select it and quick animate. And wow, the movement is so lifelike. The fish swarm realistically, the turtle glides through the water. It's absolutely stunning. I did notice a tiny flaw where the turtle transforms into a fish at the very end. But for a free tool, this level of realism is unheard of. Now for the ultimate test of an uncensored model, public figures. Let's try a simple funny prompt. Donald Trump flying. The initial images are hilarious and well executed, showing him riding on top of airplanes in various poses. Let's animate this one. The system automatically uses the image prompt for the animation, and here it is. He's flying through the sky, the clouds are moving. It's a fantastic little clip. His face distorts a bit near the end, but again, you can just regenerate it. Let's get more complex. Donald Trump, Xi Jinping, and Putin are having fun at a beach. The results are amazing. It gave us two photorealistic images and two in a painting style, all capturing the essence of the prompt perfectly. The likenesses are spot on, and it had no problem generating them together in a playful scene. Finally, let's test its ability to understand a truly complex artistic prompt. An extreme close-up of a dragon's eye with a tiny reflected image of a knight in shining armor. The images it generates are incredible, perfectly capturing the detailed scales of the dragon, and if you look closely, you can actually see the reflection of the knight in its pupil. This is a very difficult concept to execute. Let's animate the clearest one. The result is just breathtaking. The dragon's eye blinks and you can clearly see the knight inside walking and raising his sword before the island closes. This is cinematic storytelling and it's happening on a free platform. Of course, it's not perfect. I tested a complex physics prompt of a wine glass falling in slow motion and while it tried, it struggled with the details like the table and the physics of the shatter. I also found that using your own uploaded images with a new prompt can be buggy. It sometimes ignores the text prompt and just animates the base image. These are likely temporary glitches that will be fixed, but it's something to be aware of. So what's the final verdict? This is without a doubt one of the most exciting AI tools available right now. An all-in-one creative suite for images and video that is fast, high quality, and for now, completely free, unlimited, and uncensored. As long as it stays this way, it's an absolute must try for any creative or AI enthusiast. Get in there, experiment, and push its limits while you can. I really hope you enjoyed this deep dive. If you did, a like and a comment would be amazing. Let me know what you think of Meta AI down below. Until next time.